Right now is the time to panic because Valve is taking down skin. Okay, not really. The other day, Valve released a brand new update congratulating Navi for winning the PGL Copenhagen Major. And then also the champion's autograph capsules are now available. They also fixed the sticky collisions, which were causing pretty much all of the jump bugs. That also fixes surfing, which is awesome. But unfortunately, they released an update that says... Purchased and traded Counter-Strike items will not be visible to other users who view your inventory for 10 days. And this is just the beginning, so I don't know like what they've also been working on, but I think it's just some like API changes behind the scenes. Valve has implemented a series of updates that have disrupted the operations of peer-to-peer -peer trading sites in the Counter-Strike 2 market. These updates, aimed at halting the operation of gambling sites, have inadvertently affected P2P trading sites by preventing them from verifying and tracking trades. This has led to significant concerns among users with some expressing worries about the future of skins trading in the gaming community, the updates have caused a wave of panic among users, with many expressing frustration and uncertainty about the future of their investments in the CS2 market. Now, it's kind of too early to tell. A lot of people are speculating that this is the end of CS skins. This is just, it's over. It's Jover. But I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. Valve has pushed out multiple new updates in the last hour that impacts the ability for most peer-to-peer -peer markets to verify trade offers. So essentially... Because of the whole fiasco that happened at the major, Valve is trying to crack down on gambling sites because they're kind of, they're going a little too far. I mean, paying people to go up on stage and get arrested and then breaking the trophy, that's pretty scummy. But I don't think it makes any sense to punish the entire community just for the actions of like a few people. It's hard to really get like information on like what exactly is going on, but I think they're revoking a lot of API access because previously a lot of these P2P sites used the Valve API to track all the trades and now apparently it's not really possible to do that anymore so i think they they just took away a bunch of like api access i don't know 100 percent if valve is going to stay committed to this like i don't know if they might roll it back a little bit just so you know marketplaces can still run i mean the whole purpose of this was to prevent gambling sites from working because well before they used to use bots which just got banned almost immediately and then they switched over to peer-to-peer -to -peer, and now valve is trying to crack down on it there's a lot of non-gambling sites just regular trading sites that did get hit hard with this cs float cs bid pretty much all these sites because they work peer to peer they don't really work they're kind of broken right now if valve doesn't step back then your only options are going to be like sites like bitskins skinport and sites that use actual bots those are completely unaffected speaking of which if you want to buy skins for cheap and sell your skins for real money consider checking out the skinport affiliate link in the description it helps me out a ton if you want to buy and sell skins that's your option right now that's your best bet i know counter strike is a game for first in a dress up simulator second, but the complete lack of regard Valve have for a big group of its dedicated players is absurd. Valve should really have open lines of communication with legit trading slash cash out sites. Doesn't need to be public. Valve has rolled out an update that prevents peer to peer sites from loading users inventories. To your community members, after a tweet I did yesterday showing my lack of understanding of the initial changes to trading, the following ones have made it very clear what the actual intentions of Valve are. The company behind the events at the PGL Major clearly have no issue issues with creating ramifications not only to the company they targeted if the protest was held in a different way by the actual community and not by a competing gambling site i don't think anyone would have been bothered by holding companies like g2 to a higher standard so yes the changes do make sense could it have been handled differently yes regardless here we are and the immediate aftermath is that a lot of legitimate peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces pricing tools and trading services have been severely halted today almost all marketplaces trading sites and pricing tools databases get together in discord and discuss our options and the motives of valve every single company put their own agenda aside and we tried in coherency to find the right approach for our businesses and its users i believe valve will continue their efforts to suffocate csgo gambling sites from the scene and the legitimate marketplaces trading sites pricing tools will have to adapt while this plays out this morning i was full of anxiety but after i've gotten together with my fellow community members it quickly became evident how adaptable and helpful we can be and that even each and every site will find the correct approach to continue their operations. Whether it be switching to bots, which cannot be done by gambling sites as they'll get instantly nuked, or finding alternative ways to run peer-to-peer -peer sites. I can guarantee that each and every one of us will eventually find the correct approach that is both safe and responsible. For now, we let Valve
Valve do their thing, the silver lining is that Valve is not purposely targeting marketplaces, we are simply experiencing collateral damage. That once we're on the other end of this event, the skin community will be arguably, will arguably end up in a better spot than it's ever been. Less poison, more skins. We're all here to stay. Basically, this update, it's not the end of the world. I mean, sure, it's temporarily, it's definitely, it hurts. It's going to make it very hard for all these sites to work and run properly, but there's always going to be workarounds. There's always going to be ways to make things work. I mean, I guess as long as you're not a Gamba site, there's not really too much to worry about. Trading sites aren't the target of Valve. They just want to stop gambling because it has become a big problem. So don't lose hope, guys. Stay safe. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe with the bell if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Turbo, and I'm out. Peace.